Good evening. Welcome to the Elida Fieldhouse. Union Bank Court with my WSN brings you the Division Three Regional Final. It's the Margaretta Lady Bears and the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. My name is Mark Schein. My pleasure to play by play alongside Mr. Dave Bowen. Dave, a year ago, same four teams matched up in the regional semifinals. Same two victors, and we're back here tonight in a game that a year ago, Margaretta won 36-30 uh, to 30 to go to the state tournament. we got a rematch tonight. We've got a rematch tonight, Mark. Great to be your wingman for this regional championship game. Everything seems to be a mirror from last year, except we've got this championship game in a, the OG Titans. They would like to reverse their fortunes from last year. As you said, Margarita came away with the W. Let's talk about the Lady Titans. They are 24-2 and two on the season. They were 9-0 in the Western Buckeye League. Your analysis, your thoughts on the Lady Titans this evening? Well, Coach Yant's team has just had an outstanding season. WBL champions. Coach Yant, WBL Coach of the Year. Co-Northwest District Coach of the Year with Coach Neal from Margareta. They're on an eight-game winning streak. You're looking at Carson Erford, the sophomore, along with Katie Kaufman, the senior, the leaders for this squad as far as scoring, and the intangibles. I really like Carly Brinkman, what she brings to the table for these OG Lady Titans. Just an outstanding year, fundamentally sound at both ends of the floor, and that's one of the main reasons they're in this game. Ottawa Grandoff will start number four, Carson Erford. She's a 5'7", a sophomore, averaging 13.2 points per game. Number five is Carly Brinkman, 5'7", junior, averaging eight a game. 21 is Katie Kaufman, 6'1", senior, 12.7 points per game and 6.2 rebounds. Number 24 is Micah Aldridge, 5'9", senior, at 5.3 points per game. 32 is Caitlin Kimmett. She is a 5'10", junior, at 6.7 points per game. The Margaret Lady Bears, they come in at 25-2. and two. They were 10-0 and 0 in the Sandusky Bay Conference Bay Division. And they are here thanks to some obvious tournament victories we can get to later on. But your analysis of the Polar Bears. Oh. In the regional semifinal game, uh, the matchup against Harvest Prep on Thursday evening, just an outstanding job defensively. They led that first game 11-0 after the first quarter against Harvest Prep and never looked back. Great defense and then offensive patience. And that's something that Coach Neal's teams are known for, taking care of the basketball, making the opponent's defense really work hard to guard you, and that's what they're going to try and do this evening. You look at their leading scorers, Cassidy Lane and Elise Schaefer. Schaefer got dinged up a little bit Thursday night. She's going to be in the starting lineup tonight, but talking to the coaching staff, they're going to be keeping an eye on her. The other girl I like as far as intangibles are concerned is number zero, the senior guard, Lily Edwards, really attacked the basket Thursday night for them and put Harvest Prep at a disadvantage and helped Har or helped uh, Margareta get the ball rolling early and often. Going to be a great contest. Margareta, they got this W last year. They're going to have to step up to the plate again if they're going to pull one out tonight and head to Dayton. Let's go through their starting lineup. Number zero is Lily Edwards, 5'5", senior. She averages 6.3 points per game. Number two is Julia Berg, 5'10", junior, at 4.5 points per game. Number 10, Cassidy Lane, 5'11", sophomore, 9.6 points per game for her and seven rebounds. Number 13 is Elise Schaefer, 5'7", five, se five, sophomore, 10.3 points per game for her. And number 20 is Reagan Heck, a 5'10", junior. Reagan averages 7.7 .7 points per game. We give you a little bit of analysis. We give you the starting lineup. We have the opening tip-off coming up after this. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to the line of field house, Union Bank Court. This is regional final night in Division Three. Mark Shine, Dave Bowen here. We give you the starting lap for our players this evening. Our officials this evening are Doug Slover, Tracy Lindsay, and Jeff Clary. We appreciate their work. And Dave, just like we get this point of regional players, we're at this point with regional officials too. Some of the best. Yeah, great crew tonight with Jim Tarr being our alternate yep. as well. And again, great privilege and honor for them to have this game. And yeah, they get the nerves a little bit just like the players. But once they throw the ball up, it's time to get after it. Let's go through how we got to this particular point. The Lady Titans, they were the number one seed in their district, and they defeated Elmwood 63-20, then Parkway 41-26, and Duffus Jefferson 47-45 in the districts, and then they won here in this building 
uh, in the regional semifinals over Liberty Center, 53 to 18. The Mark Grant Lady Bears, they got here uh, with wins over a 14 seed Galleon, 63 to 14. Ashland Crestview, 59 to eight. Upper Sandusky, 49-22. Colonel Crawford, 41-26. And then they won in this building, also in the regional semifinals over Canal Winchester Harvest Prep, 48-36. Dave, the thing that jumps out about me, first of all, just running through their stats, they gave up just 28.4 points per game, did the Polar Bears this season. Yeah, they lock you down on defense, and then again, as we mentioned in the pregame, very, very patient on offense. They pass up good for great consistently, and that's going to be a challenge for this OG defense. Katie Kaufman heads to the center jump circle, and she will match up there with Cassidy Lane. And we will be playing regional final basketball for a chance to go to Dayton. OG comes in with an eight-game winning streak. Margareta with 11 in the final polls. OG number three, Margareta number five. Ball's tipped into the backcourt, and this will be Carly Brinkman. Here comes a trap right away. Brinkman throws it cross court into the hands of Aldridge. Yeah, Coach Neal's not going to sit back at all. He's going to come right at him defensively. Aldridge, top of the circle, goes to Caitlin Kimmett, then down to the wing. Jumper and the first basket of the game will go to Katie Kaufman. No hesitation there whatsoever. Katie Kaufman, the six foot one senior, pumps that one through the hoop for OG. Elise Schaefer hands the basketball off. And she puts it into the hands of her teammate, Reagan Heck. Back on top it goes then to Cassidy Lane. Into the lane, kick out. Here's a three ball from Heck. Reagan Heck. Our three-point field goal sponsor tonight is Power Electric. Great penetration by Cassidy Lane, kicking it out to her open teammate, Reagan Heck. Three ball corner pocket. To the rim, and finishing inside goes Michael Aldridge. Hot start for both teams. Here's Heck, and she puts it into Cassidy Lane's hands to try to beat pressure. It's coming from Katie Kaufman. Heck bobbles it at midcourt. Nice and job by Reagan Heck not to try and stand up right there. Stayed on one knee and able to bounce pass it to her teammate. We're going to get an illegal screen that took place. That is Reagan Heck. Yeah, Reagan Heck with the illegal screen. That, that's a turnover as well on the Lady Bears. A first team all district player was Reagan Heck. Granddaughter of the head coach. First team, as you said, Northwest District and also first team SBC Bay Division. To the wing, it goes to Altridge. On top to Erford. Carson tries to get to the lane and cannot, loses it. Picked up by Lily Edwards. Excellent help side defense. There's another three that goes up short. Three Titans go for the rebound. Micah Altridge is the one who secures it. And now it goes to Carson Erford. Missed a few games this year with some knee situation. Back healthy since the first of the year. Erford now over to the wing it goes. Altridge, top of the circle. Kimmett, cut to the goal. Brinkman, but she stepped out of bounds. The curl was there, just didn't connect on the pass between Caitlin Kimmett and Carly Brinkman, the turnover. Gives the ball back to Margareta. For the Lady Titans, number three, Olivia Grothaus, a sophomore, enters, as does Megan Horstman, a junior. Horstman wears 13, Grothaus wears three. You know, I said in the pregame, Margareta's going to be patient on offense. They've looked to shoot early yes, they have, in their possessions, they? being aggressive, not holding anything back. See how this possession turns out. Cassidy Lane to the wing it goes. This is Heck. Reagan here. Jumper shot from her from three-point line. Nice left hand. Reagan Heck picks up her second three of the game. Only seven on the year. A power Hour Electric is our sponsor for three-point field goals this evening, and we're going to drive to the goal, and we're going to get free throws from Katie Kaufman. The foul will go to Cassidy Lane. Our free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. 
First free throw good, Katie Kaufman. Kaufman, a 56% free throw shooter. It's one area of her game I know that she would like to see a little bit better as far as being solidified. Misses the second one. Reagan Heck. Subs back at the scores table again for OG when we get to that point. Off the screen comes Schaefer. Ball's tipped out this time to Julia Berg. Titan oh, defense yeah, diving exactly. for it. Brickman. And we're going to get a held ball that will favor the Polar Bears. Definitely a scouting report piece right there. Coach Nant wants his players to blow up the handoff, try and get between the two players for Margareta, trying to make that handoff. Carly Brinkman does it right there. Michael Altridge and Caitlin Kimmett back into the basketball game. Coach Nant getting people breaks here early on. Lily Edwards goes to the wing. Heck, Reagan. Trying to back Erford down. Push shot, short, rebound, Altridge. Yeah, good defense by Carson Erford right there. Walled up, did not commit the foul. Made Reagan Heck go with a tough one. OG with the rebound. Wing it goes to Kimmett. On top, oh, nice fake. Yeah, Aldridge made a nice move to the goal. Here's Erford. Shot in the lane for her. Battle for the rebound. Brinkler, Erford on the floor. Up strong and finishing inside is Caitlin Kimmett. Another hustle play. Good job attacking the basket. Whenever you can attack the rim, good things usually happen. Does so right there for Caitlin Kimmett. Titans up 7-6. Edwards goes to the corner. This will be a jump shot of the corner. Bounces around. Rebound. And wrestling away from everybody is Mike Aldridge. We're going to get a foul. I think it's going to go on Cassidy Lane. I think that's going to be her second. That's correct. Cassie Lane picks up foul two. Substitutes for the Polar Bears. Danny Gr Gruden checks in. Grunden checks in. She's a 5'10 junior. Titans looking at pressure, but Brinkman beats it. Headed to the rim this time is Kaufman. Katie kicked back out. Brinkman. Erford going to the lane. High shot, she shot off the glass. Carson Erford's in the scorebook. Nice back cut by Erford. Brinkman finds her kiss off the window. Just good ball movement. Whenever you're moving without the basketball mark, again, good things can happen. We see it on display right there for OG. I missed number 15 for the Polar Bears checked in. That's Kennedy Saylor. That's her with the basketball right there. You see her left knee taped up a little bit. She got dinged up in the regional semifinal on Thursday. Reagan Heck, crossover dribble, to the corner it goes. Sailor's able to secure it for one out of bounds. It's a bad Edwards, cut. Back cut. Really good passing ends up in Danny Gruden's hand and she scores. Nice job by Lily Edwards getting the assist, the back cut and the pass to her teammate. Erford, jumper. Back of the rim, no. Rebound, Edwards. 9-8, OG. Pass is knocked down and stolen away by Kimmett. Good defense by Caitlin Kimmett right there. Danny Grundin needed to let the defense come to her a little bit more in order to make that pass. Michael Aldridge on top, it goes to Kimmett. Carly Brinkman. Brinkman going to the lane, and we're going to get a foul. I think that's going to be on Reagan Heck, and if so, that will be her second. You are correct, Mark. Margareto, two players with two fouls here in the first quarter, Heck and Lane. They Free have throws. all four of the fouls for Margareta. OG yet to commit a personal here in the game. Free throw sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken as Olivia Grothaus comes back in. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens. High for the rebound goes Kennedy Saylor. 10-8, under two minutes to go. OG ahead. Back cut. Here's Saylor for three. Long. 
And the rebound off the baseline went to Micah Aldridge. And she keeps control of the basketball long enough to bounce it off a polar bear. Yeah, nicely done by Aldridge. She was going to go out of bounds with it. OG able to get the possession off the missed shot. Kimmett working the baseline, working the side, can't get there. We're going to get a held ball as she and Kennedy Saylor tie up. It's going to stay here. It will. Carson Erford back into the basketball game. Katie Kaufman calling out the under out of bounds set. Just love the leadership from the senior. She had the girls huddled together before the game, right before they went to the respective uh, benches for starting lineups. Just so impressed with Kaufman. Erford pull up. Roadhouse, and down to the corner it goes. Here's a three that'll go long, and the rebound comes to Kaufman. Kaufman does have a mismatch. She's got a much smaller girl on her in number two, Julia Berg. Carly Brinkman. Let's see if they can isolate Kaufman down on the block. Carson Erford. Pass goes to the wing again to Brinkman. They look inside. And to the rim, unable to finish, however, is uh, Brinkman. And will go the other way. Lily Edwards, top of the circle, goes. There's a three. Back of the rim, no, on the attempt by Elise Schaefer. Hit the top support with 41.6 to go. Schaefer had a really good look right there. She leads Margareta from distance with 43 threes at a 34% clip. It was a good looking shot, just didn't fall for. Our three point sponsor today is Powerhouse Electric Supply, always a proud supporter and sponsor of Ottawa Glendorf Athletics. Come in and see us today for all your electrical needs. To the wing it goes, Erford. There's a pass down inside and a power layup this time on a pass. We'll end up in Katie Kaufman's hands and she will get. Lee sent us recipe chicken free throws. Mark, you could just sense it. Kaufman wanted to get the ball on the block. The last possession OG looked for but couldn't find her. They do so on this particular possession, and she draws the contact and goes to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Lily Edwards picks up her first foul as Kaufman makes the first free throw. Back into the game comes Micah Altridge. Kaufman, the first team WBL selection, first team District A, committed to play at Malone next year with her sister, Erin. First team Northwest District as well. Reagan Heck into the basketball game as well. She's got a couple of fouls with 25.3 and an offensive possession coming up. Katie Kaufman is now three for four at the foul line, has five points. Fellas kick. Mike Aldridge making the inbounds difficult. Big 25 seconds right here for Margareta. I feel like OG's turned up the defensive pressure here. You don't necessarily need to score. You just want to get a good look at the end of the quarter. Another kick ball by Mike Aldridge, just disrupting things, trying to get it into bounds. And what? Substitute in. This will be Savannah Wrecker, wears number 14 for the Titans. Eight players now played for Coach Yant. Full court man on the ball. Lily Edwards, penetration dribble, and they reset. 15 to go, Titans up four. Edwards, wing pass, Schaefer. Saylor gives it down to Reagan Heck. Heck, pull up jumper, long. Rebound, however, came to Rundin and she couldn't get a shot off. After the first eight, OG 12, Margareta 8. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. We're back to the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. Our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. 12-8, five points for Katie Kaufman, three apiece for Cassidy Lane and Reagan Heck to lead their teams. Yeah, I think in this possession, Margaretta's going to want to get back to how they started the game, looking to penetrate gaps and find open teammates behind the arc. And OG, conversely, I think the ball's going to go down low to Katie Kaufman. OG did not have a foul in the opening quarter. 
Reagan Heck, Cassidy Lane each had two fouls for the Polar Bears. Lane throws it inside, Heck working. Finally has to give it up to Cassidy Lane and it goes to Edwards. Lily goes to the rim and she will draw a foul. It's gonna be out of bounds, however. Good penetration, splits the double team, but foul curves before she gets that shot off. Olivia Grothaus gets the first foul that will go against the Titan. Margareta people wanted a shooting foul. <laughs> so did the players, all five yeah. in white. They were setting up for a free throw. They don't get it under out of bounds. It's a lob going to go way out on top to Heck. Reagan, as they set things up, she's going to get a screen. Pull up jumper, Reagan Heck, short. And rebounds tipped back into the bounds to Katie Kaufman. Carly Brinkman throws it ahead to Grothaus. Olivia to the rim. Fights it up, and it stays in. <laughs> Olivia Grothaus, her first back, makes it 14-8. Lead pass out ahead of everybody to Julia Berg, and she lost it all bounds. We're going to get a Targaretta timeout. 7-11 to go. Second quarter, OG 14, Margaret 8. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball, WOSN. We're back in Elida. Our three-point sponsor today is Powerhouse Electric Supply. Always a proud supporter and sponsor of Ottawa Glanberg Athletics. Come in and see us today for all your electrical needs. Margarita need a timeout, Dave. Absolutely, Coach Neal, the veteran coach, on a little bit of a run going against him, and OG's getting the ball here on this possession. Great timeout, settles team down, and they're going to go zone now against this OG Titan offense. It's like a 1-2-2 two, two look. To the corner it goes to Horseman. Back out on top. Aldridge looks inside, couldn't get it there. Here's Mike Aldridge again. Yeah, look for Kaufman to work this left block in this situation. Lob pass, out of bounds. Yeah, Caitlin Kimmett and Katie Kaufman just did not hook up right there. Kaufman zigged when Kimmett thought she was gonna zag. Reagan Heck re-enters the basketball game and Julia Berg will have a seat. Edwards finds Heck. Carson Erford has her. So the defensive philosophy to go zone, we'll see if Coach Neal stays with it or if it was a one possession piece coming out of the timeout. Heck, off the screen. Now Edwards is going to get a screen at the top of the circle. Yeah, Margareta has not found a basket in a long time. They need to get something going here. You want to penetrate just as OG defense makes it tough on you. Spin move into the lane. That shot's blocked inside. Cassidy Lane's shot was knocked down. Yeah, good defense by OG and Katie Kaufman. Here we go again. Horseman for three. Long. Rebound. Heck. She throws it ahead. Has teammate Elise Schaefer out front. Head to the rim is Cassidy Lane. Spin move. Nope. Good look, couldn't get it to go. Yeah, real good look. Would have loved to seen her kiss that off the window, but great spin to the 10. Just comes up empty. This three is going to go up from Caitlin Kimmett. Kaufman battles for the rebound. No, more battle, and it will go to Margareta. One of the issues in a zone defense, you got to check out. OG able to get the offensive board, but not able to cash it in. Margareta basketball. Carly Brinkman came back into the basketball game. Heck looking for somebody to throw it to and finds Lane. Back to Reagan Heck. Yeah, Reagan Heck is, has two threes in this game. You just got to see if they can find her a little bit. To the baseline she goes. Ball's tipped out of bounds. It's hard to get that three off, though, when you're bringing the ball up the floor, Mark. Got to give it up and then try and find a position on the floor where she can be make herself available. Three minutes into this quarter and Margareta has not scored. It's, Titans have put just two on the board, so it's 14-8. Heck, step back three. Long. 
Wayne tracks it down the corner, and she will be fouled by Micah Altridge. And Micah goes over and helps yep. her up. Great sign of sportsmanship there. And, uh, yeah, just a hustle foul right there on Micah Aldridge. Her first foul, team's second of the quarter. The winner plays at 8 o'clock on Thursday night at the University of Dayton. Play the winner of Portsmouth and North Adams, who are playing as we speak. Lily Edwards. Heck, face up. Back to Edwards. Comes a set call. Heck spins baseline and gonna get an and one opportunity for Reagan Heck. Great job of spinning to the baseline, Reagan Heck. And then just a little teardrop draws to the contact. An opportunity for the three-point play the old-fashioned way on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Let's talk about Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken where home style happens here. 14-10 off to the missed free throw. That was the first free throw opportunity of the game for Margareta. Aldridge. On top it goes to Brinkman. Carson Erford. Mike Aldridge. Jones been pretty effective. Today. It has. It has slowed OG down, but right yeah, there. Not right there. Not Olivia there. Grothaus went to the rim. Got points three and four for her. 16-10. You Even know, Grothaus, Titans. sorry, Grothaus averages one point a game, but just like Thursday night, she has come into the game and made herself a presence on the floor, scoring the basketball. She's got four points now. It's a three. Long three ball from Elise Schaefer, her 41st of the season. 16-13. OG, Carson Erford trying to get it back. And I think the ball's going to go out of bounds off of Cassidy Lane. Tough break for Margareta right there. Cassidy Lane, the ball just barely grazed the rim. And she wasn't able to get both hands on it. OG maintains possession in a three-point game, 16-13 in favor of the Lady Titans. Grunden and Berg back into the game. Jump shot. That goes. Erford's got four in the game, a basket in each quarter. 18-13, Titans. Coming off the screen is Elise Schaefer. She has a pull-up jumper that's blocked by Katie Kaufman. And the scramble for the rebound. I've got bodies in front of me, Dave. Who grabbed that rebound? I believe it's number 15. Yes, Kennedy Sailor. Sailor yeah, yes. grabbed the rebound. A great block, as you said, yeah. by Katie Kaufman. But um, Kennedy Sailor, she went after that basketball hard. Maintains possession for her team. Micah Aldridge picked up foul two. That's the fourth of the quarter for the Titans. So free throws coming up. Any subsequent fouls by OG. Reagan Heck, team down by five. Off the of screen comes Elise Schaefer. She's going to pull up for three. That's her second yes, one. Yes, sir. Cuts the lead to two. Just under three minutes to go here in quarter two. That brings the Margareta fans to their feet. As you said on the previous possession, this zone has slowed down the OG offense. Erford, look inside. That ball is tipped away. Good tip away by Saylor. Heck ends up with it. Saylor, baseline jump shot. And we're tied. What a great baseline jumper by Kennedy Saylor. That's a tough shot in transition, a little 15-foot baseline jumper. She nails it. We're knotted up with 2.22 to go in quarter number two. Pass down in the corner it goes. And rattling in a three ball is Carly <laughs> Brinkman. Ooh, she shot that one with all the confidence in the world. Inside-out action from Katie Kaufman. And I guess when the senior's going to pass me the ball, I, I need to be confident shooting it as well. Heck cut off in the baseline. That was just the 11th made three-point field goal for Carly Brinkman on the season. Did put her team up three, 21-18. Heck. 
Reagan Heck. And on top it goes to Elise Schaefer. She's hit those last two three-point field goals, and Olivia Grothaus paying special attention to her. Backdoor cut coming, and Edwards couldn't quite secure it cleanly. Now she drives back door, and we're going to get a blocking foul that I think is going to result in free throws. Yeah, that interesting offensive scheme for Coach Neal. They'll bring the ball clear up to the half court just when you think they're like, well, are they holding the ball or whatever? Then they go to the high post, the back cut, draw the personal foul here, going to go to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Foul went to Carly Brinkman, her first. Edwards shoots 70% from the free throw line on the season and made that one. Looking at Elise Schaefer, she's got two made three-point field goals tonight. She had three in the win the other night over a Harvest Prep. So she's got her stroke going here in the Elida Fieldhouse. Here's Edwards again. Back of the rim, rebound comes to Kimmett. Titans with a two-point lead at 120 to go in the second. Kimmett goes to the rim, muscles up and scores. Excuse me, that was Kaufman. And She's Carly, got seven. Carly Brinkman looked at her the previous time she had the basketball in her hands, couldn't get it to her, does that time, and Kaufman goes hard to the Steel, hole. Steal, Brinkman, pull up jumper for her. Nope, rebound comes into Schaefer's hands. And we're going to get a foul. Schaefer's going to get free throws, and that knee doesn't look very good, does it? No, she's, she's battling. And smiling right there, so that's a good thing. I believe that foul went on Megan Horseman, uh, Mark. But I think so. They didn't put it up on the scoreboard, uh -huh. but I, I think that's what it was. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw for Elise Schaefer is her seventh point. She leads Margareta at the free throw line at a 73% clip. Nothing but the bottom of the net on both of those. She has eight. 23-21, under a minute to go. Ottawa Glandorf. Horseman throws it up on top to Brinkman. Back door cut. Execution is wonderful, and Katie Kaufman will get free throws out of it. Danny Grundon picks up the personal, and Grundon basically said, I don't think I can keep you from... Uh, getting this off, but I'm going to make sure you don't score it. Make her earn it at the free throw line. Katie Kaufman is three for four there this evening. Has seven points total. And now eight. Heck will come back into the basketball game along with Cassidy Lane. Second free throw from Katie Kaufman. A little long, and the rebound comes to Erford. Carson scores. Cleaning it up on the offensive glass. Carson Erford with the bucket. Five-point OG lead, 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. See if Margareta plays for one, tries to take a little momentum into the break. Lane. Heck comes off the screen. Wanted to get a three. Erford got to her in a hurry. Ball's tipped loose. Kaufman has it, leading the break, under 10. Brinkman, Erford. Erford, pull up jumper, short, battle for the rebound. We played the first 16 minutes. It's OG 26, Margareta 21. You watch High School Turner Basketball on WOSN. We're back at the United Fieldhouse, Fusion Bank Court. It's halftime. Ottawa Glendorf on top of Margareta at 26-21. Dave Bowen, you've got a stat sheet in front of you. What's it say? Well, both teams have really taken care of the basketball to begin with, and you can expect that with a five-point game, uh, everything's going to be close. Auto OG with four turnovers, Margareta with five. On the boards, OG has 15, Margareta with 10. OG shooting 50% from the floor, 10 for 20, and Margareta at 39%, 7 for 18. Ottawa Glandorf, 1 for 6 behind the arc. I think that's attributed to Margareta going to that zone defense in the second quarter and forcing OG to shoot it from deep, and they really haven't connected very well. 
Margaretta, four for nine behind the arc. And from the free throw line, five for eight for OG, three for five for Margaretta. You add it all up, you got an OG five-point lead, 26-21. OG's had quarter scores of 12 and 14. Katie Kaufman leads them in scoring with eight. Carson Erford has six. Margaretta quarter scores of eight and 13 for their 21. They have eight from Elise Schaefer and eight from Reagan Heck. Your thoughts going into half number two, Dave? Well, I think Coach Yant's going to be talking to his team about their, their defense, their one-on-one -on -one driving line defense. It's been very good. They need to continue to bring that to the table and not foul, keep the ball out of the paint, either off of penetration or pass into the post. And then against that zone, more movement. More movement with the ball, snapping it around. Don't put it above your head. Find your teammate. Keep reversing the basketball. Look for Kaufman, especially on the left block. Margareta and Coach Neal continue to be active in the zone defense, and they've got to check out. They've given up five offensive rebounds to OG. They can't allow that to happen in the zone defense. And then they as well, not going to be able to penetrate against that OG defense right away. you got to reverse the basketball, try and get that defense moving, get it out of position a little bit, then look to attack and either get to the glass or find the, o the open teammate. We got ourselves a Donnie Brook. It, it all adds up to two teams doing everything they can to punch their ticket to the University of Dayton. We're six minutes, 16 minutes away from finding that particular representative to go to the University of Dayton and play Thursday night at 8 p.m. We have the third quarter coming up right after this. You're watching High School Basketball WOSN. Halftime almost completed here at the Union Bank Court at the United Fieldhouse. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate, Out Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens from Ultimate Outdoor. See the Ottawa Glendor boys basketball team present here this evening. They had a nice win this afternoon, 56-52 over uh, the Spencerville Bearcats in overtime. And we will have their regional semifinal game on Wednesday night from a Bowling Green University. Bowling Green State University, they get to be part of the show at the Stro. At the Stro, yep. One of my favorite all-time arenas, Anderson Arena. I kind of like the Stroh Center, too, though. Yeah, they're both very, very nice. Uh, again, the house that roars, Anderson Arena. Wow. I think they really did a good job, though, of creating that noise, that sound in the Stroh Center for a modern arena. This second, this third quarter, the second half, Mark, I'm really interested to see if Reagan Heck can get started here in the third quarter like she did at the beginning of the game. And for OG, you got to look to get the ball to Kaufman down low. Nobody has three fouls in the game. Mike Aldrich has two. So does Reagan Heck. So does Cassidy Lane. Here's a move to the goal that time by Katie Kaufman. Back to her again. And she tries to go up through traffic. Shots blocked. And it went out of bounds off of a polar bear. Yeah, if I can dissect that the ball needs to go down to Kaufman on the block, yep. you know Coach Neal can. He had her double teamed right away when she got the ball in that left block. Aldridge inbounds. Erford. Runner off glass is a little long. In the battle for the rebound, Erford rips it away. Brickman has it now. She tries to go to the rim. Battle for the rebound. Titans stay after it. Erford missed. Erford again. Reagan Heck the other way. The Lady Bears very fortunate to come away with that possession without OG scoring. Yeah, the movement by OG, really not much in that possession, and it results in a turnover. Cassidy Lane. Ball stolen. Kaufman to the rim. Katie Kaufman becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. Ah, oh, big girl, a post-girl's dream. Get the steal, a half court, and take it coast to coast. L.A. to Boston. Katie Kaufman with the bucket. 28-21, Ottawa Glandorf, 6.22 to go. 
Heck trying to turn the corner. Shot blocked by Erford. <laughs> I don't know if our viewers uh, saw what yeah. we saw right there. Caitlin but Kimmett tries to go to rim and she loses it. Hex ahead of the pack and then get her the ball and they miscommunicated. Schaefer just couldn't quite get it to her. Yeah, Reagan Hex. Describe yeah. that, Dave. She's going out of bounds and she was going to lose her balance <laughs> and she grabbed the official's shoulder. I don't think the official knew who it was. He tried to get rid of whatever was hitting him. He thought it might have been a fan coming in or something. It wasn't you, it wasn't no, me. It wasn't me. <laughs> she just apologized to yeah. him while they were tracking the ball down. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. All right, uh, we just had uh, Olivia Grothaus enter the basketball games. She has, wears number three. She has four points for the blue and gold. Erford in the corner. Carson for three. Long. Battle for the rebound. Going a long way to get that one was Cassidy Lane. Margareta in transition. Edwards for three. Bounces out. Aldridge, big time rebound. Yeah, big time rebound right there because Julia Berg was in position. Aldridge just went up and over. Brinkman. Grothaus, who just checked in. Aldridge. Jump shot. Foul line. That one goes for Katie Kaufman. She's got 12 now. She's the only person to score for either team here in this half. Steal. Aldridge to the rim. Block. And we'll go the other way. Edwards, cross court. Berg. Nine point lead. Titans. Yeah, big possession for Margareta right here. They need a good look. Schaefer throws it to Lane. Coach is calling reset. Ball's tipped loose. Mike Aldridge with a steal. Kaufman. Brinkman. Erford. And Grothaus as things settle down a bit. Yeah, Margareta able to get back and establish defense off of that turnover. Carson Erford scores. She's got points seven and eight. Coach Neal's got to think about a timeout here. It's an 11-point lead. He's calling the set. Titans fans are up. Full Halfway face through. guard. Yeah, full face guard on Lily Edwards down here by Carly Brinkman. Reagan Heck gets away from Erford. Lane heads to the rim, covered up, though, by Erford. Another steal. That one was knocked out of bounds by Grothaus. Yeah, I can't Here is that timeout. 4.02 to go here in the third. Timeout, Margareta. Titans up 11. You're watching high school tournament basketball on WOSN. We're back at Union Bank Court here at the United Fieldhouse. Our three point field goal sponsor tonight is Powerhouse Electric. Always a proud supporter and sponsor of Ottawa Glen North Elect Athletics. Come in and see us today for all your electrical needs. Margareta needed a timeout. They, they definitely they were really did. Coach Neal has got to settle his team down right here. They've got to have more movement on offense. Right now, OG is overplaying the passing lanes. Margareta's not making them pay for it. 4.02 to go, so we're halfway through quarter three, and Margareta has yet to score in this quarter. See if they can get a back cut in this possession. Lily Edwards. Reagan Heck. Off a screen came Grundon. Running the flex offense. Schaefer looks inside. There's nowhere to go right no. now. Schaefer gives it up to Heck. Yeah, OG can smell blood in the water. Oh, they out! They are really out in defensive posture right now. Edwards off that screen. Here's a lob pass inside, and that's tipped out of bounds. No, it was not tipped out of bounds. The save instead went right into the hands of Elise Schaefer. Olivia Grothaus, great effort right there. Tried to find a teammate, but. Cardinal Sin and passing the ball in on the un underneath the other ball, uh, team's basket. Unfortunately, it does go to Margareta. If you're an OG fan, they scored. They needed that bucket. Took them almost five minutes to put points on the board in this quarter. Carson Erford has a three, bounces around, and the rebound, Reagan Heck. Ahead, Elise Schaefer. Grothaus got to her, not Grothaus. Horseman got to her in a hurry. 
Heck battling with Erford, and Erford's going to get called for a foul. Carson's second foul. And relentless pressure. The ball's on the wing. OG denying the pass back outside. You don't see that very often, but OG, it's a staple of their defense. Margareta fortunate to keep the ball right here off of that pass. Kimmett and Aldridge came back into the game for the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans. Elise Schaefer. Lily Edwards trying to get into the lane and cannot. Reagan Hess, heck, who has been harassed all game by Carson Erford. Trying to back down inside with Saylor. Kennedy couldn't get there. You know, one of the things I, I'm interested in with Ottawa Glendorf in an era where we seem to switch every screen, they do not. They nope. fight through everything. Toughness, make them earn it. That's what happened right there. Caitlin Kimmett throws it ahead. Ur Carson Erford gets to it. Now Megan Horstman. Micah Altridge. Inside it goes, Erford, and she will draw a foul from Reagan. Heck, that will be Reagan's third. First of the quarter. We're going to get Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throws. You can find them in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's while you're catering knees. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here to the free throw line. Carson Erford. Margareta working so hard. Girls out there on the floor, hands on hips a little bit here at the free throw line. They look a little fatigued. Got to reach down and find it if you're a Lady Bear. Carson Erford trying to put her team up in double figures, and she does. She has nine points. Her team's up 10, 33-23, 138 to go, and she's going to get a break as Carly Brinkman steps back into the game. Full court man by OG, relentless pressure. Danny Grundon, heck, and heck miscommunicated with Elise Schaefer, goes out of bounds. Seven consecutive years that Margareta has been in the district finals. They were district champs in 19, 20, 22, and 23. They were in the state tournament a year ago and trying to get back there again. Aldrich down in the corner. Power layup, just going to the glass and scoring. Katie Kaufman, she's got 14. Attacks from the left baseline. Put that up with the right hand, just nicely done. Again, Katie Kaufman doing what seniors do that want to keep playing at this time of year. Now a 12-point lead. We're under a minute to go in the third quarter. Edwards comes off a of screen. Can't get loose, ba baseline pass, Grundon. Up and under move, short, rebound, Kaufman. Yeah, great Tight. up and under move right there, was. just unable to finish. Titans can play last shot of quarter three should they choose. Brinkman, and now Kimmett. Harley Brinkman comes off a of screen. To the rim she goes. Megan Horseman and back to Brinkman. 10 seconds to go in a quarter. Skip pass. Horseman. To the rim she goes. And no, it bounced out on her. The rebound, Schaefer. And they can't get a shot off before the buzzer comes. After the first three quarters have come to an end, out of the Landorf, 35, Margareta, 23. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball, WOSN. Ultimate Outdoor is our scoreboard sponsor today. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens. And that scoreboard says Ottawa Glandorf 35, Margareta 23. And Dave, you wanted to make a special mention. Yeah, we talk about seniors and for Margareta, Eden Palomo, last year's SBC Bay Division Player of the Year. They lost her in injury at game five. She holds the school record for threes in the season in a career. And again, 
Uh, tough break for her this year, but a compliment to her teammates to continue on and have such an outstanding season. We're going to get a foul out front on Carly Brinkman as we're 12 seconds into this. Ottawa Glendorf, who has been to the state tournament five times, 2015, 16, 17, 18, and 2021. And they are seven minutes and 48 seconds away from getting trip number six. Coach Neal, the theme of that timeout, very, that quarter break, very likely we've got to string together some scores and string together some stops to get back in this one, ladies. Elise Schaefer off the screen, Cassidy Lane into the lane goes Kennedy Saylor. Shot missed, and I think we're going to call Caitlin Kimmett for being out of bounds as she tried to save the basketball. Coach Neal calling his under out of bounds set. Let's see if this is something that they tried to set Reagan Heck up for a clean look. The lob goes out front to Cassidy Lane. Heck's trying to post up inside. And Reagan Heck has to go out to 30 feet to get the basketball, directing traffic. Cassidy Lane, they need points. Lane trying to work inside, shots blocked by Kaufman. Just good defense by Katie Kaufman, good move by Lane, but Kaufman just walled up and able to get a hand on the shot. OG with the possession. Pass inside, Erford, scoop shot, was a little bit hard. The rebound went to Cassidy Lane. Here's Heck for three. A much needed three point field goal from Reagan Heck. Her third of the game, she's got 11 points. Cuts third the lead to nine. Third of the game, first three since the first quarter. But again, that cuts it to nine. And brought her crowd back yes. into it with that. Carson Erford. Micah Aldridge. They're looking inside to Kaufman. She start steps this out, yeah, yeah, start out to the this fourth quarter. Margareta has gone back to man to man, dictated by the score. Harley Brinkman. Mike Aldridge. Kimmett. Kaufman goes baseline again. Erford rebounds on the back side. Carson Erfson has 11 in the game, and we're going to get an official's timeout because. I think Kaufman inadvertently was hit in the face right there, making sure she's okay. <laughs> Megan Horseman, Olivia Grothaus into the basketball game along with Danny Grunden. Katie Kaufman, obviously she can post up on the block, but I've been so impressed with her baseline penetration in this game, Mark. It's really presented itself, and she has done a nice job attacking the rack off the dribble. She's got 14. Carson Erster, Erford has 11, which is the lead right now. Here's a jumper. Back of the rim, no. Rebound, Heck. Schaefer. Lily Edwards into the lane. Her short shot will not fall. Rebound comes to Olivia Grothaus. 5.20 to go. Titans up 37-26. Coach Yant calling a set. And we're going to get a foul as Elise Schaefer picks up her first and the team's first of quarter four. This is where you want to continue to be really aggressive if you're Margarita. Mark, Margaret, and we'll get that in there the right way. I knew I was going to mess there that you up. Go. At least once, yeah, Mark. Timeout, Margaret. Time timeout for me. There we go. <laughs> 5.14 to go. Titans up 11. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Timeout, Margareta, their third. They made a three-point field goal in this quarter. Our three-point sponsor is Powerhouse Electric, always a proud supporter and sponsor of Ottawa Glendorf Electric uh, Athletics. Come in and see us today for all your electrical needs. You know, we talked about Margareta being more aggressive defensively. Yep. 
Uh, yeah, if you foul, okay, you know, maybe they won't call every foul in there, but putting OG on the free throw line, if there's a kick in the armor as a team, OG shoots 57% from the line, and, and that might be something that, again, Marguerite, Mar Margareta, I don't know where that's coming from all of a sudden, <laughs> but Margareta may be able to take advantage of. Carly Brinkman backs into the backcourt with the basketball. And now crosses midcourt. Erford, five minutes to go. Margareta has called three timeouts. The Titans have called just one, none in the game. Each team has a single foul here in quarter four. The arrow favors the Titans. Kaufman, who's had a monster game at both ends of the floor. Aldridge, and then Carson Erford. Double team, pass goes to the basket goes. Mike Aldridge, a basket in the first quarter, a basket in the fourth quarter for four points, 13 point lead, OG. Again, on the left side, great left-handed layup, power shot. And OG has done a lot of damage on the left side of the floor here in the second half. Reagan Heck trying to get to the rim. Rebound, Kaufman again. Erford. Halfway through quarter number four. Titans up 13, trying to build on it. Carly Brinkley has handled the ball very well today. Has it knocked out of bounds by Lily Edwards. Megan Horstman will come into the basketball game. Nice deflection by Edwards right there, but you can just sense, yeah, Coach Neal does as well. He's gonna take a timeout since the vice starting to tighten up as far as OG putting the squeeze on the Lady Bears. There's 3.57 to go in this one. Margareta trails 39-26, and Dave, they have score, scored all of five points in the second half. Yeah, it's just been tremendous defensive pressure by OG, forcing Margareta to just really, really be patient, and then when they do get looks, they're contested. It'll be interesting to see the stat page when we're done because the rebounding has really turned in the favor of OG as well. They were up five at halftime. It seems much worse than that here in the second half. And Margareta, they do use their bench, but OG, that is a staple for them. Yep. And I think they have worn down the Lady Bears a little bit as this game has continued in the second half. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 a month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. Sideline out of bounds. It will stay with Ottawa Glandorf. Let's see if Coach Gant stays with the patience on offense or looks for a quick hitter with Marga, uh, Margareta overplaying defensively. And, and maybe it might be a situation where uh, Coach Neal also said, let's look to attack and be very aggressive. And if we foul, that's okay. Well, they Take still have, chances they, at the yeah, free they have three line. to give. There's yep. one right there. Uh -huh. But see who they gave that one to. Uh, Grace Pazeka. We just checked in. That's her role, I'm going to guess, to, to be the designated fouler right now because they want to get OG to the free throw line. Aldridge down the corner. Kaufman steps through traffic. Aldridge again playing keep away. Yeah, OG putting on a clinic, passing the ball. And the floor is spread. Yes. Not even dribbling. And in there's here. a foul right there. That will also go against Great Grace Pozeka. About eight passes and two dribbles. Pozeka, they said on the PA. My mistake. Horseman, Megan looks. Finds Katie Kaufman in the corner, and Katie will be fouled. That's team foul four. So the Lady Bears now in a trapping defense as we see, but as you said, Grace Pazika, somewhat of a designated fouler coming in. Gonna play the foul game, take your chances there. I yep. like the strategy by Coach Neal. Third foul on Cassidy Lane. Kaufman was headed to the basket, but her teammate had been fouled. Carly Brinkman will get Free throws, our free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. 
in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. Carly Brinken, Brinkman, the second leading free throw shooter for OG at 67%. Makes the first. Fourteen point lead, forty twenty six. Rebound, Lane. Her team needing points in a hurry. Lily Edwards. Reagan Heck wants a screen on her on her left side. Pull up jumper for Reagan. Rebound. Wrestled away by Caitlin Kimmett. That'll send them to the free throw line again. And Caitlin Kimmett, she is the leading free throw shooter for the Lady Titans at 72%. Your coach Gant, you like Caitlin Kimmett going to your free throw line for you. The Lee's famous recipe, chicken free throw line. Head to the scores table would be Kennedy Saylor. And the reason for that is Cassie Lane has fouled out today. Kennedy Saylor, 5'11", sophomore. A couple more years for her to play for Coach Neal. Here's Kimmett. She was two for two in the game here on uh, uh, the, it was a Thursday night, correct, yep. Dave, mm -hmm. when we had the semifinals? Comes up empty. Yep. Let's see if the Lady Bears can take advantage here. Hex getting a screen, fighting her way to the rim. It's blocked by Erford. Horseman picks it up. Stay tuned when this one comes to an end. We'll have a post-game show, including our Stolly Hustle Award winner, and we'll try to get an interview from the Titans. Fouls called on Kennedy Saylor. Kennedy's first foul and well into double bonus time as we're going to get uh, Erford to the free throw line this time. She is one for two tonight, with has 11 points. 12. Nothing but the bottom of the net for the 59% free throw shooter, whereas Kimmett goes 0 for 2 in the 72. It doesn't go according yeah. to Hoyle all the time, does it, Mark? Here's Carson's next free throw. She's got 13 points in the game. The lead grows to 16. 2.36 to go. Three. Rattles around. No. Battle for the rebound. And what do we have? A held ball situation? It's going to go the other way. That it will. With the ball. Just keep looking at my stat sheet. There's 2.26 to go here in the fourth quarter. Margareta with five total points in the second half. Two in the second quarter, three in this quarter. Here's full court press. It's been a defensive clinic by these Lady Titans in the second half. Erford wrestled the ball away from Heck. And then she finds her teammate, Caitlin Kimmett. Olivia Grothaus back out to Erford. Brinkman. Brinkman pressured out front. That will be a foul. That will go against Elise Schaefer. Back to the free throw line will go. Carly Brinkman. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. It's just that one-on-one -on -one defensive philosophy for OG here in the second half. They did not allow penetration which then kept the ball away from the basket, kept Margareta from being able to penetrate and kick to open uh, teammates behind the arc. Uh, it, it has been, Coach, just a clinic by Coach Yant and his team here in the second half. Michael Aldridge entered. That's the second free throw is made by Brinkman. She is now three for six at the free throw line this evening, and she has seven points. Here's a steal. Aldridge goes the other way. Kaufman. And Katie will be fouled. 152 to go. That foul goes to 
Pazika, Grace Pazika picks up that foul, and Kaufman will go to the free throw line. She is four for seven tonight, no, four for six tonight, now five for seven. 15 points for her. And another. 16 for Katie Kaufman. 45-26, Ottawa Glandorf. It was 26-21 at halftime. And to the rim, overshooting at that time. Well, at the rim was Kennedy Saylor. Kemet battles. Kaufman gets it. And Coach Neal is saying, don't foul. They're going to let this one run down. The OG Kaufman. faithful getting up on their feet. Two for two on the day with the boys winning the district championship today. The ladies are going to punch their ticket with a regional championship to the University of Dayton in the state final four. They know a little bit about basketball in that <laughs> community, don't they? Yes, they Here's do. Here's a held ball, which is going to be a good thing because both teams are going to get some substitutions into the game. Savannah Recker, Megan Horstman, Olivia Grothaus will check in. So will Danny Grunden. And the OG Titan fans come to life. Also checking in will be Lily Belak for Margareta. Uh, number 23 is Ashlyn Kingsborough. An outstanding yeah. tournament run for Margareta is going to come to a close. A team that gets a lot of experience again. In tournament yeah. action, they have a, the nucleus of their team coming back. Dave, these two teams each have a pair of seniors. Yeah. Uh, the, each of them have two seniors on their roster. And so we're loaded with really talented players coming back for both teams uh, next year. Of course, right now, the Lady Titans are thinking about next Thursday or that, yeah. when they want to play in, down in, in Dayton. Backing it out, 32 seconds to go. Here's a three. Misses, battle for the rebound. It's going to be tipped out of bounds and we'll stay at this end. We very easily could see these two teams yeah. playing each other in the regional tournament again next year. Greta Liebrich enters the basketball game. A second, see who else checked in. Looks like uh, Greta Liebrich checked in. So Madison did. McKee. Okay. Let's see if we missed anybody here with this. The ball gets tipped out of bounds. And there is not a number 10 on the roster. In, oh, here is Gracie Lammers. My mistake. I did find Gracie's name. My mistake, Gracie. Eight seconds to go. Titans running it down. The Ottawa Glandorf Lady Titans with a superb defensive effort this evening will defeat the Margareta Polar Bears. And the ladies from OG will head to the state tournament next week. Just an outstanding effort again. I know we said it, but the second half defensively to only allow five points to a team that scored 21 in the first half. Yeah, they did. Very impressive for these Lady Titans. It's going to be medal presentation time. Dave and I will take a break. We'll talk about our Stolly Hustle Award winner. We'll try to get an interview with the winning coach or at least a member of the staff or team in just a moment. You're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to the Elida Fieldhouse, the Union Bank Court, where Ottawa Glenoff has taken a 45-26 victory over the Margaretta Polar Bears and move on to state tournament. Dave, how about that for them? Just a great accomplishment for this squad. A, a goal I'm sure they had on paper, but you got to do so many things to get there. You've got to be good, and you got to be lucky. Absolutely. Let's talk about our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page. 
We went with senior Katie Kaufman, Dave. Senior Katie Kaufman, just a microcosm of what she has brought to this squad all year long. Seven rebounds, six for eight from the foul line for 75%, five for eight from the floor for 63%, 16 points, great, outstanding leadership. We've seen that all year long. Again, before this game started, she brought the team together. She did the talking. They were focused on her, and not only did she do the talking, she put it out there on the floor and let that speak for her as well. Margaretta will finish the season at 25 and three, quarter scores of eight, 13, and two and three, just five total points in the second half. They had 11 from Reagan Heck, they had 10 from Elise Schaefer. There's 21 of their 26 points. Ottawa Glendorf, they will go to 25 and two. They will play in the state tournament Thursday night at 8 p.m. in the University of Dayton. Quarter scores 12, 14, 9, and 10. 16 from Katie Kaufman, 13 from Carson Erford. Well-rounded and super, certainly, David, a great defensive performance tonight. Yeah, exactly, and we talked about it during the game. 21 points at halftime yep. for Margareta, and then boom, shut off the faucet. They yeah, only allowed five absolutely. points. What a defensive effort. What a defensive clinic by the OG Lady Titans. And we're going to do our credits right now and wrap it up right here. First thing I want to do is talk about Dave Evans and his staff. 14 tournament games in this building over the last couple of weeks. They always do a great job with it, and Dave and his staff are outstanding here. Yeah, Dave, obviously the leader, but the staff, it's been the same people uh, for years, and they love being great and gracious to us as well as the teams and, and the coaches, but just an outstanding job. Doesn't get any better than the Elida Field. Well, it was great working with you, Dave, as Absolutely. well. And we want to thank our camera guy, tech guy, audio guy, and all that put together, Jacob O'Neill. Jacob will also take this back to the station and edit it all together. We're going to try to get an interview before we wrap this up. Right now, though, you're watching High School Tournament Basketball on WOSN. Light of field house. We have Katie Coffin with us. Katie, congratulations on your win. First Thank of all, I want to ask you, your team held them to five points in the second half. What emphasis did you make at halftime? Um, at halftime, our coach told us that the only reason why they scored is because we didn't follow our scout and that we just needed to reinforce our scout. So when we went out there, we knew that all we had to do was follow our scouting report, what we were taught, and we, we really wanted this game. Um, our coach said that if we wanted it, we would show it. And I think the second half is a, a, an epitome of what showing it is. Does that really, wanting it, have something to do with you lost here last year by six? Yes, I think last year we didn't realize how lucky we were in our circumstance. And um, we, we took an advantage and it didn't go well for us. We um, didn't follow our scout very well. And when we were down, we got down on ourselves. And today, when, when, even when they were only down by five, we didn't give up on ourselves and we kept going. Let's talk about that because Coach, Coach Bohm was talking about a moment ago. You got the team together in a huddle before you broke to go into the, the first quarter action. What'd you talk about? Um, I told them um, we always get little excerpts from other news stations, from Upper Sandusky and stuff like that. And a lot of them always say that the Titans never come on top and that um, they underestimate us a lot. So I told them if, if they want to say those things, then we'll give them a reason to remember the Titans. Well, that's really cool. You took the ball in the basket very, very well today. You shot eight free throws. You went to the goal. You got three baskets in the, in the third quarter. Was that a point of emphasis to go to the basket? Yes. They told me that they couldn't guard me, so um, all I had to do was be strong in there, take it to the basket, and really just finish for my team. And I think I did a great job of just getting to the rim when my team needed me. I think you really did that as well. Final question. You play in a basketball community. What's it like to be at Ottawa Glendorf on a day-by-day -day basis and then compete in front of these fans? Oh, it's just amazing. These fans mean everything to us. We know that when we get to where we are in our um, regional final game, our basketball fans will always be here as evidence. We have fans <laughs> all over the top, and it's just amazing. Like, even Carson, she was like, we do this for our fans. Look at how many fans were here for us and how many fans were there for them. We were going to win for our fans. I asked her this last year. Carson plays one on one. Does she beat her brother? Oh, that's a question. <laughs> yeah, for her. We, we better let that one drop right there. <laughs> Katie Kaufman from Ottawa Glendorf. Her team plays in the state tournament next week on Thursday night with a 46 25 win today over the Margaret Polar Bears. Thanks for being with us. Yeah. You've been watching high school basketball at WOSN.